building builders this morning with this well building builders this morning with the da, 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 da. Good, morning. good morning building builders this morning with this warmth just about done digging through this yard making up builders we're going to be one builder shy so we're going to have to go to another yard to do that but we'll find those bees on another day because we have transferring and nukes to do we're going through these are the colonies some of these colonies we put space up on top through that cold weather just as we're anticipating the development of this nest to move up and uh, we needed to give them space and we're fussing over whether or not we should give them space on top or below and i was fussing on whether or not i wasn't sure if i was making the right decision or not i was being really strict on the colonies we added space onto uh, only the super strong ones these colonies we're going through skimming out for the builders we're finding the bees have when we put the space on top they immediately moved up and she's they've got frames of brood up on top here some of the frames are capped so that's telling me probably that next day after we put those boxes onto these colonies those bees moved up cleaned up the cells and that queen was right behind her so that's telling me that our manipulation during that cold weather did not set these colonies back whatsoever which is really reassuring to to see also the colonies that i didn't double up that are borderline they are they're needing space right now um, we're going to have to go through and we're going to have to add space to them because we're not going to get around in time uh, to be able to skim them down before they start uh, preparing to swarm off so those ones i'm wondering maybe if i could have maybe put space up on top but the way they are now they are just absolutely tremendous hives and we'll be able to capitalize on, the, on that all the same could you pull that frame of brood out there carrie if you don't mind I'll just show you one of the frames that I'm seeing here. So I've already found the queen. She's right there. Beautiful queen. And this frame has the cat brood on it. So she come up and she instantly started laying. She, we got some cat brood there. We have some mature larvae and a bunch of eggs. We have mature larvae on this frame and eggs i mean she's de totally developed that ne that nest out so what we're going to do because we're using this hive or these hives just for the bees we have to make for damn sure that we don't take too many bees away from these guys that they can't maintain all that work that it just established for themselves so we're going to probably skim off the bees from the top box uh, we're going to go down to the bottom we're going to sort those brood frames down to the bottom skim a few bees and then uh, just leave them so it satisfies all their work requirements. All this pollen coming in is just crazy. We're pulling frames out, searching for the queen, and we're wasting pollen. They're just fresh little grains, or what do you call the pollen, the leg of a bee? Grain? Pollen grains? I think, so. I think it's pollen grains. At any rate, I think you know what I'm talking about. They just freshly put them into the cells. We lift the frame up. And we're actually wasting the pollen as it's dropping into the grass. It's like, oh crap. But there's that's how much pollen's coming into the colony right now. They're just packing frames full. It's so exciting. Finally, we're getting some development and some movement forward. But now we just gotta, you know, pedal to the metal and try to keep up to these girls. How are these builders settling in? Oh, well those four are definitely queens. Awesome. Sure, a stir of activity here. Oh man. Just gonna give them some syrup to fill up those stomachs. We'll have them on constant feed. Because these are our builders. <clears throat> so we have seven going here now. We have to add one more to make a full cycle. And 
these two will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then once we get another one in here for this row, where did I say? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and back Friday. We'll just keep cycling them through. Did you have a chance to put pollen frames into them? Everything is ready to go. So we have a foundation, honey, pollen, and this is a foundation as a place taker for a graft. Pollen, another foundation for a place taker for a graft. Pollen foundation feeder. So this will be our slot A, slot B, and once we get this thing cooking, in about uh, four or five days, maybe when we come back to this builder to drop us another graft frame into, we'll exchange this frame for a brood frame and cycle the brood frames through every week. I have a box of foundation underneath just for a place to hang all those surplus bees. So we have these packed. <clears throat> and I'll show you the process as we go.